Hello and welcome at uh, Modern Kit Beginner. My name is Roland and I am uh, broadcasting from Cape Town. And it's good to have you guys on the channel. And we are shaking things up just a wee bit because I haven't done a, a video last week. One or two, probably not more than one or two, might have noticed that last week there was no video going out. Uh, because the reason is I was busy and my desk was a mess and I just couldn't get myself to clean it up to be able to do a, a, a kit review on it. So uh, didn't happen. What was I busy with? Well, I'm busy with uh, several things. I am busy with a GT1, Porsche GT1 for the Le Mans group built uh, over at the International Scale Modeler. I'm part of that, if you somewhere behind me. There we go. Uh, here you see some of the stuff over there has been cleared. And uh, should you get one, beautiful kit. Decals are very, very brittle. So I clear coated them and uh, even then I had to be very very careful and uh, very creative to make sure I get them on more or less acceptable. Then the other one I am busy with is a 37 Ford pickup right over here. Here you see the beautiful flathead right over there. Hasn't been uh, weathered yet in any shape or form. Very very gleamy exhaust over here and uh, here's the grill here is well some parts of it let's see if you can see it here we go see some parts i'm not i'm not using all of those you see i'm probably not going to use this but just use the top part of the hut and leave the sides open so you can see that beautiful flathead and uh, i did one thing for the first time because I wanted to test it and I saw it over at the channel of Barbatos Rex so just type in Barbatos Rex in YouTube he is a chap who uh, tests everything related to paints paint brushes air brushes uh, very thorough and uh, chap over in the United States and he had the tip which he also found from somebody else so we are a great community everybody gets kits tips from other people and he used where is it he used Super Chrome Silver 2. Here we go. Let's see. I'm not quite sure if you probably can't see it. Yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you. It is SM206, a Super Chrome Silver 2. It's a super metallic from Mr. Color. Now, I think that 1 to 10, possibly more. I think that extremely thin. And then applied it. And this is kind of the finish I got out of it. It is not a mirror finish like you have with the kit chrome, which I not always find very natural. Yeah, this camera is not autofocusing, that's just a, a, a webcam. Anyway, it is more, and if any of you have ever built a Tamiya kit, it is more a Tamiya kind of chrome, you know, a little bit more realistic. And I love it. I love it. It really looks good. So I think actually need to try this with my nail polish as well so between them and the nail polish this will be my go-to chrome in the future till something else comes around so uh, and then on and then i also been busy with the workshop from fujimi 124 workshop i just arbitrarily took out the the lift as you can see it has been painted needs to be weathered and then it will be the workshop that has been pushed to the side a bit because I see some other people have done it some have done beautiful shops jobs with the weathering so I'm trying to get some inspiration from that but enough about what is actually going on in this workshop and more to what we actually should be talking about which is oopsie a 37 Ford panel delivery van oh it's a 37 Ford oh, there is a surprise for you yeah you might detect the theme. I I love the mid-30 trucks. Not only the Fords. I love all the mid-30 trucks. I believe there's a Chevy truck as well. I just haven't had a chance to acquire one yet. But uh, 
love the 37 from Revell. I think it's it's a beautiful shape. It's a lovely truck, and we have a look at the one which you'll see right over here next to me. The uh, it's 125 right over here. Here's the box. Here you go. On the side, it gives you the usual text, and what does it say? It says it has 110 parts, so it's not part heavy. Around about 18 and a half or seven and, uh, centimeters or seven and a quarter inches in length. Then it tells you a little bit about uh, the four trucks. Then the Revell uh, color call out, as such as it is, and then a couple of alternative models you can do. And uh, if I remember correctly, they have. Uh, decals for each of those versions you see right over here nothing of interest at the bottom and that's about it 37 ford panel delivery not the 37 ford pickup which is the one which i just showed you and i'm busy with like this one oh, yeah, here you can also see the silver you see i made the wooden wooden bed kind of a try to get for a kind of a maple finish and then yeah, as I say in this light let's switch off that light maybe it helps yeah, it's dark but you you get the idea it uh, it uh, comes out very nicely very very nicely so 3740 days it's not the pickup it's a delivery van no we haven't had a look at that before and we will do that now but before we do that let me put that to one side so i don't knock it over before we do that i think we'll have a quick look what uh, the history of this particular kit very similar to the 37 ford uh, pickup as you might imagine but for those of you who haven't seen that one let's quickly move over to scalemates and have a look i'll see you there So here we are on Scalemates, having a quick look what the, that kit is all about. It is a Revell kit and it has not been a previous monogram kit as very often we have found, not with this one. This is a 2013 Repop which has different decals from the others. And uh, here you can see, get a quick overview of the history. And it really well and truly started in 1997 with this one. I would love to have this kit. Love to have this kit. It's just fantastic. Anyway, that was the first one. Then we have the first panel van, which is right over here. There you go. Obviously very similar to what, what we're having a look at right now. Then we have this pickup version, which is somewhere here. Here you go very cool i like that a lot which is very similar to the one which i've showed you before which is this one yeah remember yeah this is the one i'm actually building this is the one which i just showed you and i'm busy with but today we're going to have a look at the 37 panel delivery truck uh, here you see it in the ambulance livery but there are some other liveries available which ones? Well, why don't we go down to the bench and have a look. See you there. Hi there, guys. You won't believe what I just did. You won't. Well, those who know me will believe it. I got an additional light in here. And then uh, paused the video and then uh, when i wanted to unpause it i actually stopped the video so i did the entire review without the camera well the camera was rolling but the uh, obs wasn't so we will do it all over again here it is 37 ford panel delivery here's what is in the box and as you can see obviously now everything is unpacked because i've done a review haven't i here we go Let's just get everything out here. Oh, I'm not going to leave the here. Lots of white plastic. There we go. Let's put that on that side. That on here. Bit of chrome. Bit of glass. That's also glass. That's tires. 
instruction sheet and have a quick look at the decals. You can see it has the sexton decals for the three-tone sexton uh, coloring, which I'm looking forward to, to be quite honest. I might just do that. But we obviously also have the emergency uh, hospital ban, which can be for sale if you want to or not. Or we have the all black police car. Here we go. If I do it like that, you can actually see there are some white decals on there as well. Let's just see. Is my camera rolling? Is it really? Okay. Yes, it is. Great stuff. Quick look at the instruction sheet. Nothing to write home about. Very simple color callouts. Typical Reval color callouts. No continuity. What today F is gloss red, tomorrow F will be burnt iron. So, uh, yeah, don't, what I normally do, I scan them, put them on a computer screen, so I have the color callouts in front of me, so I don't need to, you know, page forwards and backwards. Then we have a parts list. Always nice to know what the parts are. Not so nice if you want to check if everything is in the box. Then, obviously, the view of the sprues is much better. Here's the engine. Flathead, normal flathead, lovely Ford V8 flathead, we love those. Here's the frame, tank, exhaust, uh, distributor right over here, suspension parts. Then the engine goes in, radiator setup goes in. It actually all fits very nice. As I said, that's what I have done not too long ago. Here you are. That's it. Here we go. Come on. Yeah. Uh, obviously in this it will not be as shiny this one will be a bit of a hooped up engine so that's why everything is a bit more shiny right then we have interior right over here simple as well dashboard right over here seats it has single seats so it doesn't have a bench and uh, firewall right over here we have a look at that now front part with the chrome grille and this part they put on here and I'm not quite sure why they would do that for me that's absolute waste not necessary doesn't have that in the pickup either so who knows what they were thinking anyway and then uh, lights light buckets right over here I think in this kit it's chrome uh, but you can obviously de-chrome it and make it body color if you want to uh, rear fenders come on bumpers etc and then uh, you prepare the body and uh, the bonnet or hood and once that is done you put that on you have the barn doors which go at the back and the spare wheel goes on over here and here you have the versions the ambulance version with the red underside and obviously white on top we have the police version all black and then we have the John Sexton and Co which is in a dark green light green with black fenders and uh, steps right over here pretty cool right now tires tires are the normal Revell 90s non-branded on a sprue tires in other words really nothing to write home about quite a bit of cleanup to do and you need to clean it up carefully because the uh, the tread is not very deep looks bias ply it does look bias ply i'll give them that and uh, that's obviously what they had in those days let's put that finger here maybe it will focus again come on here we go right then we have the glass transparent right over here let's have a look at the red glass all the red lights which in those days you were lucky if you had two lots of cars had only one this one had two and they were rather small rear lights but they have them in the kit as transparent red always nice here we have the glass front glass rear glass side glass if you would choose those to put in and then we have the headlight um, covers on the chrome side we have one chrome sprue which looks like this so we obviously have the grill we have the uh, wheel covers right over here we have uh, light buckets 
right over here we have the mirror choose to put one on a mirror was not mandatory and you actually it was an optional extra you paid always a couple of dollars if you wanted to have a mirror on your car or truck or van uh, some engine parts these two I don't think we will be using and uh, emblems right over here obviously the bumpers a couple of handles and a couple of cranks window cranks and uh, here there are more engine parts over here some of them you might want to de chrome i think an oil breather in a van like this was chromed right let's have a look at some white plastic here we go we have this one let's just go down a little bit further i don't need to lift it up so high here we go we have uh, the back side of the seats that's what that is it's a bit of clean and this is the cover for the spare wheel so you can put a spare wheel cover on there if you choose to do so obviously on the box art it doesn't have that cover but that's up to you then we have this particular sprue this is this funny bottom part which i don't understand i'll tell you in a minute why i don't understand it watch i'll show you the the pan itself here we have the barn rear doors you obviously can cut them and display them open if that's what you would like to do we have the seats rear fenders right over here and the interior pan rather simple bit of a bit of a structure carpet kind of structure and you see the uh, extension pin marks right over here which is not a problem because they're right underneath the seats so no worries there then we have a couple of parts for the suspension front rear suspension differential steering mechanism here front axle right over here steering wheel always nice here's the fan bit of flash on the fan needs a bit of cleanup and then some engine parts and the wheels which are actually very nice i like them a lot obviously they get this beautiful wheel hubs or covers which we have seen on the chrome tree then uh, the next one is the firewall which we have right over here and the nose we have uh, radiator tank the belt assembly right over here that goes onto the engine air intake these are actually uh, bumper brackets we have the exhaust right over here part of the uh, radiator assembly water lines for the engine and here we have the engine gearbox and diverse covers like valve covers etc right over here that's the engine beautiful nice simple flathead then we have this drawing you see what i mean here we have a bottom it already has the wood structure on it and i remember right at the beginning when i started building model cars 2016 or so i'm sure i built one of those and i didn't use that second part i really don't know why it's in there maybe you can yeah i don't know i don't know i don't even want to guess right we have a engine part right over here as are these two they actually are the distance holders for the radiator you paint them matte black we have the dashboard oh, i'm always a fan of the dashboard this one is nice and simple and a frame right here at the bottom here we go then we have the uh, engine cover get to back to that in a minute beautiful v8 sign they have decals for that and uh, these air covers you know letting the heat out from the engine it's actually quite nice and pronounced and then we have the body right over here which needs a little bit of tender loving care but generally it's a pretty good and straight shape yeah it certainly needs a bit of cleaning up now now the fitment and i remember when i saw it and i put it there i said, oh, i remember that i remember it didn't fit properly i put it on here now there we go 
more or less gives you an idea right that's how it goes and you can see it's flush there at the bottom it's flush there on top but there's a gap here in the middle so there is some modeling to be done to make sure that everything comes together nicely and uh, especially if you want to be able to take off the bonnet which obviously what we want to do to show off this beautiful little flathead V8. I wonder, I wonder how big they are. 208, 240, 249. Well, if you know, let me know in the comments what big, how big an engine they had in. Oh, 221, they say it on the box. It's a 221 cubic inches flathead V8. And that finally was, uh, the clock is running, wonderful, finally was really now the bench section for the 37 Ford panel delivery. Let's go back upstairs for some final thoughts. Yeah. Can you believe it? forgot to press record and I actually didn't forget record. I paused it and then thought I actually stopped the recording and then started the recording and by pressing start I actually yeah well, anyway you get the drift can't believe I did something stupid like that well some of you might and you don't need to write anything in the comments about that one anyway we had a good look about these uh, uh, on the 37 Ford panel delivery van as you know I'm a I'm a big fan of them. I love those uh, little vans and I really enjoy the kit. As uh, you could see, the only major fitment issue you are going to have is the bonnet, which needs a bit of, you know, just a bit of filing, a bit of uh, sandpaper sticking, uh, just to make sure it all fits together very nicely. No train smash whatsoever. You'll be all right and uh, i would suggest do it before you paint and clear coat it because otherwise you will not be a very happy camper uh, i know trust me no. right hope your eyes go enjoyed this i certainly did i certainly enjoyed the time spending with you guys this was the kit review of the 37 port panel delivery from the fine folks over at Revell, a 2013 repop of a 1990 something kit let's make sure here 1997 kit and uh, all in all pretty clean needs a bit of tender loving care and just make sure you get this the bonnet fitment to the body you get that sorted before you do all the painting priming painting and uh, and clear coating Thanks very much for popping in. It was really lovely to have you here. And uh, my name is Roland. I wish you all the best and greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.